What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Breath Edge. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and continue to explore this lovely little survival game. I think, like we've got a bunch of points of interest, but like I want to get lead paint like really badly, I just don't know how to get it. If I can get lead paint we can upgrade our suit which I assume will give us a bunch more oxygen. But first things first is we needed aluminum, aluminium. So let's go get ourselves some aluminum and we'll take care of business. I always tell the same story about aluminum. Oh, you get like one at a time. Okay, we'll get like three of it, I guess, because that's all the game wants to give me anyways. I, my guess is that we get lead paint from like the side of one of the spaceships or something. I do like the way that the resources are just scattered all over the place, and you've kind of actually got to extract them from like logical locations. Like you get some aluminum from the stone. <laughs> Like, there's random bits of metal floating around, like the plastic comes from the tubing. You can get yourself wires from exposed wiring. Like, I do like that very, very much. And that's something that a lot of games have not done. Normally, you craft that stuff yourself from raw resources. And I like the way that you can get, like, random bits and pieces. I'm gonna look around for this... I'm gonna look around for the lead paint. I don't know what it's gonna take us to get lead paint, but... It's gotta be around here somewhere. I just don't know what it looks like right now. Like, I'm, I'm sure we'll know it when we see it. But... I don't see anything that looks like a harvestable node right here on the sides of these. What is that right there? Is that like how many aliens we've slown? I think it is, dude. I think that's... We got, we got notches on the fuselage right there. We were out here killing. We were taking care of business. We were burning the Xenos like the Emperor commands. We were doing what we had to do. All right, back outside. We will find wherever lead paint comes from. I know it. It's probably one of these marked locations, in all fairness. Like, I'm probably just way off the mark right now. I don't think we're going to find anything other than ice down here. This seems like a particularly icy location. What is that? Something sticking out right there. Wiring. I'll take it. Just in case. Can't break the tape recorder right now. Oh, I can break the tape recorder. Might as well. Might give us access if we get a battery out of it. Yeah, I was going to say. If we get a battery, that'll give us access to another oxygen candle. And something tells me we're probably going to have to mash our way through a lot of oxygen candles in order to survive this ordeal. I'm going to use all the oxygen candles we have right now. Oh, my good sweet Lord Baby Jeebus. One second left on the clock. Do I like a tight squeeze or do I like a tight squeeze? Let's go ahead and make some tools real fast. I need another handy scrapper. I don't know if I should do the grabber. Don't we already have a grabber, though? I mean, I got the grabber right there. Is that, like, better than the back scratcher? I don't know what the back scratcher is used for. Hmm. Yeah, buddy, we got 10,000 experience points. Apparently, I needed to, yeah, just install it or electrical something. Electrical stimulation is complete. Having traced your brain's activity while you were working, your brain was stimulated with small electrical charges to improve your engineering skills. Judging by the result, it didn't work and caused a number of hallucinations. However, it was entertaining. You still can't get past the radiation, but I will mark the coordinates of the rescuers for useless motivation. All right. Sounds good to me, man. No argument from the splatty. Can I upgrade, like, new stuff now? Do I get new objects? I do. I've got a sweet package. We already had that, though. A sweet-ass package. An inflated, smooth, beautiful... We need thick electrical tape for that. I think I would love to have that. Let's consider momentarily that maybe we should go find some... Maybe we should go find some rubber. I wonder if this stuff... If we can still craft with it, even if it's inside of our... I'm dropping all this, aren't I? I hit the wrong thing. There we go. All right, so let's go. I'm going to eat some food in just a minute. We'll keep two of those. We've got the waters right there. we got the oxygen batteries, alcohol. I don't really know what to do with the alcohol aside from get trashy and shit-faced right now. I'm going to put the plastic in there and the honey and the wiring because I just don't see the point of carrying around all this wiring with me. This doesn't seem to be healthy at all. I think... 
Let's go find some rubber. I need another handy scrapper, though. My handy scrapper is, like, horrifically busted right now. And so if I can get, like, a secondary scrapper, that'd work out great. Thank you for the secondary scrapper. I'll put that in my three slot. Just so it's ready to go. I'm gonna see if I can get into that bulkhead down there. Like, we've got this thing. It's 100 meters away, and I think I've got enough oxygen candles to maybe make this work for me. If we see any rubber around, I am going to pick it up because I wanted to make the oxygen extender. That'll give us an extra 25 seconds to mess around with, which I think sounds magnifique. I think it sounds great. I'm just going to break the door. How about that? I don't think that's working. Oh, I got a new blueprint for a scanner. Nice. Okay. This seems like a waste of my resources, so I'm just not going to do that. What is that right there? I'm going to assume that that's some kind of septic fluid or something. That's what it looks like to me. I have seen the inside of a septic tank, and it's kind of got that septic tank feeling to it. I can't fight this septic tank no more. You got me forgetting what I thought about pooping for. All right, well, let's go up, and I want rubber. Like, I need to make the rubber hit the road right now, and they are not giving me a great supply of rubber. Like, I know that it's around, but I want to upgrade my I want to upgrade my gas tank real fast so that I can go out and do more fun stuff. If there was rubber, maybe it would be inside of here. Yeah, there we go. That's plastic. That's not rubber. That doesn't help me. There's a chair over here. I can't scan that. Oh, yeah, rubber was coming from those big crate things. I forgot about that. It comes out of the boxes that you break. All right, well, I'm going to mess up that radio real fast. A little bit more plastic. We'll head back to the spacecraft. I'll see if I can find a few more of the floaty nodes around that we can break open and get some rubber along the way. Mm. I need a great crate, mate. Where are the great crates at? Where are they at? I need them. So I can break them open and get some rubber. I probably should have thought about that and made the rubber thing long before we got to... I'm in freezing danger right now. Well, that's not good. That would explain why that area is all icy, though. So we can't go over there just... To, wait, I can break that? What? Is there a reason why I would want to break an asteroid? I'm trying to do the math right now on whether or not we're going to make it. It looks like we go about 10 meters per second. We're not going to make it. I'll oxygen candle it. Oxygen candle away, although that is a bit of a waste, and I wish I hadn't had to use it right there. Oh, there's a box right here. Yeah, let me have whatever's inside of you. Exactly, like rubber. Oh, we got some shears. Nice. Dude, that was a... Big old crater rubber. Yes, sir. We making ourselves a new oxygen tank. Let's get up in here. So we've got the condom. We've got all the other stuff. Let's make sure that we can avoid asphyxiation today. So inside the equipment, when we should be ready to make, we need wire and two plastic and electrical tape. Okay. There's the electrical tape right there. That's done. For that, we need one more plastic and one wire. So I guess it doesn't pull out of your crates over here, which is a bummer. Wish that it did, but it doesn't. So, you know, fail. There's the oxygen balloon. So now that that's done... Oh, that's just my oxygen reserve? Ew. I thought that was like... That should be equipment, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I thought that was going to be a usable item for a second. I got a little bit I got a little bit tilted for a second. I thought maybe we would have a problem. So we needed shears for tearing the plating out of the walls. I bet we need some kind of grinder or something if we want to get ourselves I bet I bet we need a grinder or something if we wanted to get access to. So how do I make the scanner? Sorry. I'm 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 firing on like eight cylinders right now. Uh, so for the scanner it's a camera. We need a plastic and a light bulb. I haven't seen a light bulb anywhere. With one wire, we can make some shears. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? 
Grab some wire out of there. Sorry, I keep clicking the wrong way. I'm used to Subnautica, so I'm using the wrong keys every single time I try to go inside the inventory. So we've got tools right here. Yeah, make some shears. We don't have any, so, I mean, we could tear the plating out of this place and kind of see what happens there. I don't know if it's going to work out so well, but with the shears, I should be able to extract plating from here. So that just gives me fabric. Not as helping, I mean, it's not as helpful as I had hoped it would be. I was hoping we'd get some kind of metal or something out of there. So I can't get inside of there. There's still some wire sitting right there, too. What happens if I rest in bed? Nothing? Okay. I wonder if that's how I get my health back, if my health gets lower. Now that we've got 75 seconds, that should allow us to dick around quite a bit more when it comes to, like where we can go, what we can explore, and what we can do. I should be able to get a little bit more distance on some of this stuff as we're running around. So we need to find like a light bulb, which I assume we get out of one of these crates or something. That seems like a refined object. I don't know if we're going to be able to make that by ourselves. We got a salty package right there and a sweet package. How about your package? Is it sweet or is it salty? Mine's salty. Mine's salty. I'm just, I'm a salty dude. I can't help it. Some more honey inside of there. That pillow will give us access to that. This seems like the area that I want to go to get resources from now on. Like, this appears to be where most of our crates are. Although the downside is that a lot of that stuff just seems to be like snacks and whatnot. Like, we don't really need food. It's kind of just going to go into storage because I can make as much of that as I need just by having, you know, ice and access to nutritional goo, which is floating all over the place around here. So, I don't think we're ever going to have, like, a major problem with our supply there. But I will bring it home with me. So, how good is this right here? So, we get thirst from it. Yeah, just do it. Luckily, I was low on bottles of water, so I'm glad we picked that up. That'll be nice to have. We also got another oxygen candle. We got a bunch of batteries right there, which is great. So, I should be able to make some more oxygen candles, too just in case we get ourselves in over our head. I think it was ice and a battery that made the oxygen candles. Let's see, items, oxygen candle, it was metal and a battery, okay. We only got six durability left. And honestly, I'm a little bit low on metal right now. Maybe we'll see if we can find anything free floating over here on this left-hand side with this long corridor. Looks like the Wi-Fi is out over there, which sucks for them. No internet for you. Your prawns have ended. What a sad day indeed. A day truly to weep about in the great history of humanity. Is it like a speaker? A battery operated speaker? I don't think we're getting in there. Is that another battery? Okay. Let's float around for a minute, see if there's any metal tooling around. Thought maybe that would be fabric. I might be able to get over to there. With our newfound oxygen supply, possibly. It might be able to happen, but we've run out of metal on that side. That's my biggest issue, is I just seem to be running out of metal nonstop. I can't keep enough of the stuff around. I'm trying to stay stocked up on it, but metal is apparently dead in space. It's not a popular medium out here. Everybody's doing, like, synthwave nowadays, and everybody's doing, like, you know, we got, like, techno bouncing around, a little bit of that electro out there, that EDM. Whatever you want to call it. When I was a kid, it was called techno. Nowadays, it's called EDM. They changed it around. They like to move the goalposts on you every now and again as you get older. Change the name of things and make you feel bad because you don't know the common terminology. I need the scanner to get in there. I don't see anything down and around on this side. Bummer, bro. I think I just wasted my time. Maybe going somewhere different will help. A standard coffin at the Global Funeral Agency. The opening of the coffin will be considered an offense and an act of vandalism, but no one will judge you if you die. What are we talking about right now? The shuttle's plating is blue. These are the rescuers. Given that the evacuation shuttles have increased strength, the impact force must... The rescuer spacesuits are like funerary ones, but I always wanted to learn how their flashlights work if they don't require recharging. I propose we loot the corpse for scientific purposes. Alright. Proposal approved. Sounds like we'll send that one on over to R&D and we can have ourselves a flashlight. Flash, flash, light, light. Dude, that's like the only song that I remember from Grand Theft Auto 4. 
And then that one song that was like, Joey, don't do it. Joey done did it. Like, that's the only thing that I remember from that game. Honestly, I wasn't a huge GTA 4 fan. I felt like the characterization was much worse than GTA 5. Like, the characters were much more appealing in Grand Theft Auto 5. Like, Nico was just not an interesting protagonist. Like, his entire thing boiled down to, Nico want money. Nico do anything for money. And that was, like, the entire storyline. That was pretty much it. Like, when you play Grand Theft Auto 5, like, the characters have different motivations for, like, the things that they do other than just, like, cash. You know, like, what's his name? The mobster is trying to chase down his glory days as a bank robber. The other guy is trying to, like, make his name as a crook. And then Trevor's just freaking crazy. And that's what it comes down to. Hey, we found that metal we were looking for. Doesn't it feel good? Are these inmates? Are these dead people? Some indecent drawings made with waterproof marker. Apparently someone had nothing else to do. What does it say? Storekeeper sucker. And then he also had something written on his butt cheek, but I couldn't see what it said. It was too complicated, and I didn't go to kindergarten long enough. I dropped out, okay? I had to live that thug life when I was a kid. I had to get out there, be rowdy, chase my dreams. So I dropped out in kindergarten, because we out you. I don't know what that noise meant, but that noise sounded distinctly like I might die. I'm gonna need more handy scrappers, man. I wish the handy scrapper had a lot more durability. This is starting to become like, we just don't have enough of anything. So we can make a flashlight if we had a light bulb. I don't have a light bulb, so unfortunately that's not gonna be an option. If we had glass or lead paint, I could make a helmet. Oh, that just gives radiation protection. Never mind, that doesn't give us oxygen. Weak, dude. Super weak. I need to figure out where I get a light bulb from then so I can get in with that scanner. Yeah. That's probably what I'll do. I haven't really found anything worth drilling either, unfortunately. Like, there are occasional things around that you can drill. Like ice nodes and aluminum nodes or whatever. But why would I drill the ice when, like, I can get ice from anywhere, you know? There's ice all over the place. It's a very icy game. Got something going on over here. What is this? Are those dressers? What are those? Am curious. Need to find out. The dead guy right there. Looks like a mail delivery shuttle. Surely he was carrying a lot of useless things, most of which were stolen before loading. Well, apparently I can break this, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and break the mailbox real fast. Obviously a federal crime, and one of those things we probably should not do. But, one of those things I'm gonna do. Because, I believe in productive burgling. Some metal, some extra scissors, an oxygen generator. I've got another candle, so I think we'll be okay. I'm just gonna loot the hell out of this place and see if I can find anything. A uh, light bulb. Cool. So we got our light bulbs. That's what we needed for a couple of the things we were trying to make. There's another oxygen candle right there too, and I think we're gonna need it. What does the oxygen generator do? I can be proud of this. I don't know, maybe I'll read it back at home. I want the metal before we leave. I don't wanna have to like come back here and scrounge for metal anytime soon. Like, I would much rather just grab all the metal I can because we've been low on it, like, this entire playthrough. And I want more. What is that? A shawarma? What's a shawarma? It's a food, right? Isn't it? I don't know. Oh, yeah, so taking a look at that thing that we found, an oxygen generator. Generally, it's an inside-out battery with a rather complicated pattern from electrical tape. All of this is fit into a fancy case and has a fancy name. You should be proud of this and shove it into oxygen stations. Oxygen stations, huh? I don't know what the shawarma does for me either. Yeah, it's a food. It looks like a burrito. But it looks like it's got a rat's tail coming out of it. Did I make a rat shawarma? Does that, like, go somewhere? Huh. I don't, like, really know what to do with the oxygen generator. Here, let me pee on this other astronaut real fast. There we go. 
I peed on his butt. In some places, you gotta, like, pay good money for that. He shouldn't be upset about it at all. I think he just had, like, a, a very, very real transcendent experience with my urine. I can make a flashlight. I can make an accelerator. A complex advice for outputting accumulated gases to accelerate your body in weightlessness. Ineffective when used on an empty stomach. Oh, I eat the shawarma and then it makes me fart, apparently. And that's how I fly through space. Gotcha. That's the joke they were going for. A spacious suitcase. The suitcase has no internal compartments, secure locks, wheels, retractable handles, or competitors. Why do I want a suitcase? Is it just like a storage object? Oh, yeah, it's just a storage object. Okay, that's cool. I, I was about to get done with this cabinet anyway, so that actually really helps out. Like, I know it didn't seem like it was that useful in the moment, but it actually is because I'm running out of space inside this cabinet, so, you know, we'll keep it cracking for right now. I've only got one oxygen candle left, a fact which sort of concerns me. Can I make the scanner right now? So I need plastic and a light bulb. All right, I'm going to do that. Let's get a plastic out of there, and we will make a scanner, because it seems more useful than the flashlight. Like, the flashlight's cool and everything, but if I take the scanner down to that little door down there, I might be able to do something with it. Let's go ahead and take this thing, and we'll have a look. All right, down we go. I'm getting inside of here. Y'all think I'm kidding, but I'm going to get inside of here. In the middle of the plane. Scanning this little thing With a scanner made from bullshit I'm gonna go through this door now Nice! That was way more efficient than what I tried. This is working autonomous oxygen station. It can be used for long distance flights if you don't break it. You must carefully remove the station by removing two screws. Anyway, this doesn't matter anymore. At least now you have an understanding of how to assemble one. You have a set of its parts and a light taste of despair. Okay. It looks like there's oxygen in here. Maybe I can install oxygen stations, like, here or there. To ensure that, like, bad things don't happen to me when I'm trying to do long space flights, possibly. That would seem like the plan to me. So this place also acts as like a de facto oxygen station, though. Like, if I'm going down this way, I can come back in here and I can refuel. And then tangibly, I should be able to go do other stuff, right? I don't know. We can check some of these asteroids and whatnot for mining nodes. Doesn't look to me like there's going to be anything around, but... I mean, it was worth a shot in the moment. Another busted oxygen station right there. So apparently there were multiple oxygen stations over here. Can I breathe out of that thing? It was an honest question. I know that opening my helmet up in the vacuum of space is probably a terrible idea. But like I wanted to see if there was a utility that I hadn't been utilitizing properly. Like sometimes you gotta utilinate things. What is that? Hmm does not seem useful to me. I'm going to go check this little area over here. It's not too far out anyways. And it's got a giant glowing pink thing. And the giant glowing pink curiosity interests me. Apparently there's a note right there, but I can't seem to pick it up. He betrayed our marriage. Pervert, traitor, he deserved it. Uh-oh. Who can professionally handle station air. Judging by the degree of decomposition, this subject died long before the catastrophe. It is unlikely that he suffocated from this. Oof. Judging by the broken handle, somebody's body was beaten very hard and very painfully with it. I wonder which part of the body it was exactly. A hammer covered in blood. The victim is also stained in blood. Probably the hammer accidentally got stained by the victim. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was leaning towards too, my guy. That seemed like the rough idea. What is that, Novichok? It's a drug with the penchant. Drug consists of rare ingredients like chalk, probably increasing sexual potency, coal, increasing something as well, water, sugar, and ascorbic <laughs> acid. 
Those are male potency tablets. The evidence is collected. The investigation is successfully completed. It is obvious that the victim was poisoned by a Novichok chemical weapon for treason. This is confirmed by the cipher from a note that the female agent lost at the scene of the crime. Some special agency clearly had a hand in this. I think he just got caught putting his willy where it wasn't supposed to be. And she decided to take his ass out with extreme... With extreme punity. Or with extreme potency. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for hanging out with me. This is Breath Edge. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for stopping on by. If you like the video, don't forget to put a like on it. Uh, check out the Patreon if you enjoy my video series and my never-ending search of indie games. I'll see y'all later. How you doing? Take care.